Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. Hello, this is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Welcome to my channel. Well, um, today's video is just a little bit of a few things. I have some happy mail. Um, I'm going to let you guys know the um, sex of the baby that's coming up. I'm a Gigi again, so as you can tell, I'm very excited about that. We had the gender reveal party yesterday, and um, so yeah, so I want to show you guys what I made for that, and let's see, um, oh, and a, some more happy mail, and um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Grab you a cup of coffee. Today is, let's see, this is the fourth cup. This cup is hot right now. It's fresh coffee in it but here it is be still and know that I am God and on the back look at the pretty little bird it is so pretty and today I am drinking vanilla buttercream coffee thanks to my sister Tanya this was given to me from her hmm I love this one um, I switched back and forth between uh, the vanilla Starbucks vanilla and then the uh, vanilla buttercream. I don't know what flavor I want to try next. Um, after I finish these up, I want to try probably something, maybe a hazelnut one or something, you know. But um, I want to try different flavors. <laughs> so, okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the gender. Um, are you ready? Three, two, one. It's a girl! Ta-da! It's a girl! Yay! I'm so excited. We have little Knox, and now we're going to have um, a little girl. <laughs> um, let's see. Let me um, show you. Let me go to a video clip and show you the um, a few things that I made. And guys, I had to crochet really fast and crochet quite a bit to finish these because I think I was told... I only had like maybe four or five days to do this stuff. So uh, from when I found out what the sex was till the party. And then the, even the day of the party, I had to go with her to um, for her ultrasound and things like that. So um, yeah, I was working pretty fast. And I had to get everything washed up too. <laughs> but um, it, it was exciting. So let me, let's go to the clip and I'll show you those things. Okay, it's going to be a girl. So this is what I made. Little hat, booties, and a pair of little mittens. There we go. I'm so excited. Um, I'll leave the link below where I found the mittens. The hat um, is just my regular pattern. Uh, a lot of people actually have that pattern out. It's just your simple uh, double crochet, and you do the... Uh, front post, back post for the edging where the pink part is. The booties, uh, they, I'm not sure if I have a tutorial on that or not. I can't remember. But anyway, um, I'll, if I do, I'll leave the link below. But that's it. Okay, so this is the blanket that I made. This is just the block stitch. I actually have a tutorial on this. And... The cat, it's supposed to be a cat, is from this book right here, The Snuggle and Play Crochet. I'll leave the Amazon link below if you're interested in making it, and I'll leave the link to make this blanket. But um, it had a scarf on it, and I didn't want the scarf on it. So I just put a little, like a cat collar. But um, I don't know about you guys, but I don't know if it looks too much like a cat. It seems like there's some amigurumi that I can make really good and some that just don't turn out that great to me. But, um, it, I don't, I guess it's probably okay. I'll show you the picture of the cat. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's the picture. Let's put it up to it. <laughs> That's it right there. So, yeah, but my daughter's going to love it. It's going to be her first item made for the baby. So, she's going to be super excited. As I am, too. 
<laughs> I used a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook for that. I used big twist yarn. Um, I probably used two of the big of the white and then the color pink. Um, I think this is bubble gum. So between the blanket and the animal, that's how much I had left. And I did use two and then a little bit into a third one here for the blanket. Hey, that's what I made. Um, I really wanted my blanket to be like a baby pink with either a white or a gray where the, uh, the white is and um, on the blanket. But I didn't have any baby pink and I didn't start the blanket till like, um, let's see, when was it? Um, Saturday night, I believe. And so I was able to crochet on it Saturday night. And then Sunday, you know, I had church and things like that going on. Um, and then the thing was Monday. So I was like, well, I'll just do this in the dark pink and white. Anyway, so that's, that's what happened to that. <laughs> I'm still planning on making more of a baby pink you know, whenever I get to the store and uh, to Joann's and get me some more of the big twist. <laughs> I didn't realize I was out of pink. So anyway, I'm fixing to um, probably start on some other type of a little blanket um, as well. Anyway, and the baby, since it's going to be born in January, um, you know, the winter blankets are just perfect for it. She said she wanted a nice thick blanket, um, you know, for the baby. So you know, Knox was born in March, so I made his blanket more out of a three weight, and um, so it's a lot lighter weight and thinner um, because he was more of a spring baby. <laughs> okay, enough with that. Let's go get on to the happy mail. I want to say thank you to um, Explore with K and D, and this one, these is made by Delena. It they are two sisters. They are just adorable. I love watching them. And they do have a YouTube channel. And I'm just amazed at how young they are. And they crochet. Look, they made these. Let me get this. Here you go. Look at that. That is so tiny. Um, girls, I just want you to know how much I love these. And um, thank you so much for the card and the things that you um, sent me. I just really appreciate that and the words and stuff. You girls... Um, Y'all are very blessed, and um, the crochet community, as you get older and the more you work, um, you're going to be highly loved. <laughs> I already do love you girls, and I'm so proud of the things that y'all are accomplishing, especially at such a young age. So if you haven't heard of Explore with K&D, since they are young, you can't leave comments, but you can watch their videos. Um, and they have an Etsy shop, so they do have a few things. So you could even go there and purchase things and help support these little girls to buy their yarns and things that they need to, um, you know, hone in on their craft and stuff. And, um, but anyway, um, yeah, I just want to say thank you girls. And, um, I'm really, really proud of these. Okay. So the next thing I got is I do have three magazines from Shannon. Thank you so much, Shannon. Three of these Crochet Now magazines. And um, I'm just so excited over these. I love the Crochet Now magazines. And let's see. What's this one? That right there is what, uh, now that I've got a little girl coming, I'm like, I never thought of doing a pink reindeer. <laughs> but, you know, now I've got to, right? So thank you so much, Shannon, for that. I love those magazines. And there is one more book that she got, and I'll show that in another video. Um, oh, and then I did get my Crochet World magazine. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Um, I am going, I have two patterns that are coming up. One is going to be in Crochet World magazine. I believe it's going to be February of next year. And then I have one coming up in Crochet Foundry that um, is going to be in their holiday edition coming up. I think it's going to be this coming up like in the next few months. So be looking for those patterns that are going to be in those magazines. I'm so excited, um, you know, that my patterns are going to be in there. I don't know what else to say, but I'm excited. <laughs> for uh, August, for the um, Scenic Beauty Calendar, 
here is the picture. Well, I already had this yarn picked out because I was going to make a shawlette to put on up for sale on my Etsy shop in this color. Look at that. I'm like, when I saw this, I went and grabbed this because I already had this laid out to make a shawlette with. And I was like, this is perfect. Look at that. Just perfect. So I'm excited. Not only am I going to get to make a shawlette, but I get to tie it in with the... Uh, August, the Scenic Beauty Calendar from the Yarny Fiber Sisters. Uh, the, the ladies that are involved in that, um, they do have a Facebook group page. I'll leave the link below. You just go to the Facebook group page. You can join in anytime. It's just fun. Um, I think there are prizes, but I'm, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I don't even know when they announce the prizes, so I don't really know. I'm just doing this because it's just so much fun. Um, I'm having a blast with it. It's a challenge for me to um, go and pick out the yarns and you know, figure out what I want to make. So, um, I'm just, I'm really having a lot of fun with that. So the ones that are doing it is Veronica with, uh, Steals the Show, uh, Crochet, uh, Chef Crochet More, something like that. Um, but I do know that it Steals the Show. I know, I remember that much of it. <laughs> um, and then we have Linda Simpson and then we have OMG Granny Square. I love all three of these channels. So I'll leave their links below Go check those, these ladies out. They are very, very talented ladies. Um, so, yeah. I'll leave those three links below, and I'll leave the Explore with K&D. Oh, yeah, and this cardigan. I never talk about the cardigans I'm wearing, and I apologize for that. I do try to always put links in the description box, but I have failed to mention them. This is um, the Sunset Cardigan. I do have a tutorial on this, and I have a PDF pattern in my Etsy shop. So this is the um, Sunset Cardigan. <laughs> I love this one. Um, I, the stitches, it is a little warmer. It's not one that you necessarily would want to wear in the 100 degree weather. So it's a little bit warm um, on the warmer side, only because the stitches are a little tighter. They're not as holy. Um, so, um, but I did wear it yesterday evening outside and I was just fine in it. If you want to make this one, it is the Sunset Cardigan. Okay, guys, let's do our 365 days of prayer. Gratuitous love. By grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not as a result of work, so that no one may boast. That's Ephesians 2, 8, and 9. Good Father, thank you for your love that you give without reservation. You don't hold back in fear that we won't respond in the same way. You're not insecure in how you reveal your affection. Thank you that the same can be said of your great grace. You have not given a limited amount of love to the first few responders. No, you have a plethora to give more than enough for every person who has ever lived. Thank you, Jesus, for the gift of your life, death, and resurrection. You did all the hard work of reconciliation so we could know you without anything keeping us separated, even death. Your gift that gives life to every seeking soul will not change based on our behavior or choices. Your love does not change its mind. Lord, thank you that I can be sure that I'm securely found in you. Your grace bridges the gap of my own lack every single time. Are you confident that God's love covers every one of your weaknesses? Yes, I am. So thank you, Jesus, for this word. Um, I hope you enjoyed the um, the Bible reading, the 365 days of prayer. I always look forward to bringing that to you guys. And um, let's see. Well, I guess that's all that I have for this video. Uh, tomorrow, like I said, is Whip Caddy video. And I can't wait to show off all of you guys' whip carts that have sent in your pictures. And um, yeah, just remember to live life, have fun. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.